What's up everyone? It's me CN Skaima and before I start this video, I just want to say Happy 4th of July everybody! Oh yeah! I just love this day a lot and you can hear the fireworks outside right now. You hear? It feels like we are at war and sometimes it feels like it's raining. I really love fireworks but not that much and especially love the color from each firework they blow. If you guys are blowing fireworks right now, I just want to tell you to stay safe and be careful as well. And also have a great time and a wonderful night. Once again, happy 4th of July. Alright, a couple of weeks ago, I was out of town. I went to Baca, California. And I went to this amazing camping place. It's around in Senada. It's called Las Cañadas. I went there to celebrate my little brother and my niece's birthday. And that camping place is very nice. There's a lot of things that you can do around there. Like hiking, swimming, boat riding, and especially horse riding. And like I said, it's very nice. It has a nice view wonderful mountains and wonderful hills around there and also there's some wild animals like duckies, seagulls, chickmunks and many more out there. So please guys enjoy my video of my camping place. What's up everyone? It's me CN Skaima and I'm back with another video and today I'm at Ensenada Baca, California and right now I'm at this camping place right here and it's called Las Cañas and this place is amazing like very amazing there's a lot around that you guys can do around this place oh. right now I'm so excited to be here again because two years ago I came to the exact same place with my family and like I said there's a lot that you can do around like you can go hiking you can go swimming you can go on a little boat ride right there and also horse riding. And right now, the noises that you're hearing is this, watch. I don't know what it's called, but it's cool, but also scary. That's why I'm not gonna go up there because tell you the truth guys, I'm, a, I'm afraid of hikes. But like I said, you can do a lot around this place. What are you seeing here guys? This is the lake. And look all the way there. Let me zoom it. Right there, you can rent a little boat. But you only can fit, I believe, four people or five, I can't remember. Like two people pedaling, another two people, yeah, only four people can fit there. The other two can sit there in the back. And there's the bridge. You guys can see it all the way there. It looks cool, but it's also scary. You see right there, guys? It means no swimming around the lake. This is the only part that you cannot swim around. And we'll tell you why. But first, right now I'm going to the bridge. Because the bridge, you can get a better view right here in this place. And here's the reason why you cannot swim. There's duckies. You see? Look at that duck there. There's another one right there. There's two more over there. This is the bridge, guys. And right here, you can walk it. But also kind of scary. Because right here, this water, they say it's like two feet or three feet. I can't remember what they said. And there's a little bump right there. And there's a little island right there. What well, small island. Because right here you can take photos, you can take videos.
Make sure I stay away from the lake. I forgot to tell you something guys. When you enter to this place, they're gonna give you this. It's an entrance. With it, you can come in and out all the time you want. But don't worry, if you enter the swimming pools, it's not gonna get damaged. So make sure you have this everywhere you go. Check it out guys. Look what I'm gonna eat. A hot dog. You can see I put some ketchup, mustard, and some jalapenos, and I really love jalapenos so much. All right, guys, the journey is not over yet because right now I'm gonna show you the swimming pool. There's two kinds: there's a small one and the big one. But I bet the big, the big one, you guys are gonna love that. But I'm not gonna get in because, to tell the truth, guys, I don't like swimming at all. And I don't get in the, the, the water because, well, I don't know. It's that I don't like swimming, but I'm still going to show you guys the pool. All right, guys. This is the small pool. And you can see this one is meant for little kids inside there. Look. It says here that no foods or drinks and no um, pets there. I mean, no dogs. But look. There's a small pool. Great. It's high. Yeah, there's water inside there. Yeah. Mommy say guys, my friend told me that no glass allowed but still don't bring any foods or drinks inside here right now i'm in the hill oh, it's there's another one right there in the top and there's a slide all the way there. Holy guys, I tried to zoom in, I can't. All right. See, there's a slide right there. So the little kid can slide there. And there's another one right there. <laughs> guys, this is my nephew. You know the one who said what's up everyone in one of my toy hunts but right now he has a kite and he's gonna fly right now like show the kite show the kite it's spider-man and right now he's gonna fly right now and this little princess is my little niece say hi best of it and look at her kite it's little mermaid she loves little mermaid and right now she's been fighting it. You see? And there's my nephew and my friend. And there's my little niece. <laughs> Find her kite. Right now there's not a lot of breeze right here. So it's making it hard for him to fly the kite. <laughs> and there's my little niece again. And there goes my nephew with his kite. <laughs> there are more duckies, guys. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing that. They shake quack 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 quack. Also this campsite is half part two.
You see campers around here. And more people going on that string there. I forgot what it's called. It looks fun, but also kind of scary. In this camping place, there are also wild animals. And you can see that the sun is setting down and around nighttime, there's gonna be frogs all around, like doing ribbit, ribbit, and also nocturnal animals. Like, I got here at like around, I believe at 11 or 12 in the morning, and then one of my friends, he sees a skunk. And boy, I don't like skunks. When the skunk sprays you, you are P.U. for good. And it's hard to get rid of that smell. But luckily that, that skunk did not spray us. But if that skunk ever shows, I'm gonna take footage of the skunk. So in case you guys are gonna come here, watch out with the skunks. Right over there guys, right in the under the bridge, there's squirrels. There's two of them. Wait. I think they're chickmunks. Make sure I don't get too close. Because I might scare the little guy right there. But there were two of them. Maybe the other one went under the bridge. Right now, I'm walking to a small island right there. Whoa. I forgot that this one's much higher than the other one over there. All right. This is the island. That's what everybody calls it. There's stumps right there. And you can sit down here if you want to take a picture with your with your family around. And there's where they're turning on the lights. There's more stumps around here. There's a little bench. It's very nice. And the other side, you can see more campers right there. And more duckies around. If some of you guys ever do come in this place, don't worry. Because some of the workers around this camping place, they speak English. Because there's other people that come from the other side around the U.S. Because a couple of hours ago, there was a guy that just came all the way to New Jersey. How cool was that? So don't worry, there are some workers that do speak English. Take a good look at that, guys. You can see all this nice, beautiful view. Those are the clouds right there coming down from the mountain. And there's more around there. And around there, there's the, there's the horses. What's up guys? Today is Sunday and my second day here in the Cañadas and Senada. And I believe that this is going to be my last day because maybe around at 8 I'm heading back to Tecate. And it's kind of shame because I don't want to leave yet because I really love this place a lot. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Because I do want to go to the horses and I do want to go on the water boat. But I also want to show you guys the other swimming pool because there's two of them. I already showed you one from yesterday and now I want to show you the other one. They're much bigger than the one I just recorded and the other side. Also in this place there are some soccer fields around so you guys can play soccer but basketball fields I'm not sure but I do I'm gonna take some footage but right now enjoy whatever I'm gonna show you around. Right now I'm gonna be in one of those boats. Look how beautiful the lake is. Around here, these would be a lot of fishes. I don't know what happened. Well, you guys see me here, it's a light chest. And there's three sides. 
large, medium, and small. Like you guys can see it right here. Like here's the L. This is for large, medium, and small. But the small ones are for kids only. All right, so right now I'm going to the, the boats. All right, guys, I'm gonna take off right now. But seriously, it is kind of scary. I'm not sure how deep this water is, but, but I'm doing this for you guys. Check it out, guys. Another reason why I love coming here because right here you can be sitting down in the trunk while nobody telling you anything. Oh, about the little boats, bad news. My battery just died. I was about to take off and I did not pay attention to the battery on my phone. It just died right there. Uh, but I did win inside, but I do go in later on. I'm gonna take some footage of, of the lake. You guys will love it. But right now, I'm going to the other swimming pool. Right now, there's a wildfire right there. I don't know what they're burning. But check it out. People used to play here. But I see that right now they kind of closed it. Partly like they're building it or fixing it somehow. We you see out there, those are the bathrooms. And there's a lot all around of this camping place. There are more campers here. And some of them, they have some great tents. Like this one over here. And another one right over there. This is the pool that I've been talking about right now, guys. And throws big waves inside. It means like no glass around here. Let me give you guys a good close up. It's like you're going to the beach right now. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go around. I put voice recorder around this part because when I was walking, the music was getting a little bit loud and I don't want to get a copyright. And right there, there's a sign that says no running around here. I went here to give you guys a better close up and you can see all that nice waves that, that pool is throwing. It's coming around the edge of this swimming pool and it's very nice. You guys will love it, love it here. And there's seats here so you can sit down. Enjoy the view right there. This is the map of the campsite, or well, the camp place. There's all the locations where you guys want to go, where you, where you want to camp. It's all right here. And here's the other swimming pool that I want to go. Because right there, there's slides and a pirate boat inside there. This was very good too. And right here, I forgot what is, these are. I, I, thought, I think like one of them is for selling fruit. It gives you like a little cup around. And there's the medics. And here we are right now at the swimming pool of this one. No, wait, wait. that's the lake. And I'm camping around here. And here are the horses in this side. I added more voice recorder around this part because the music around there was getting loud and you can see there are rocks inside the pool. I'm not sure they're real or fake. They look real to me, but I'm not sure. And there's a sign. The sign says that no sandals or shoes inside the pool. And look at that great view right there. I know that you guys will love this place if you come there. I like it a lot. It's fantastic. And this is the ground. And right inside the ground, there's pebbles, small ones. There's white, gray, and especially blue ones. And little kids like my nephew, they pull a lot of them from the ground. And right now, my nephew pull out three. You can see, and they look very nice. I like pebbles. They look good. There's a lot of floaties here. And there's a killer whale right there. I'm not sure if just somebody just left them there or you had to rent one. I'm not sure about that. And here in this campsite, 
they had that little snack store. There's a lot all around the camp place. They sell ice cream, they sell chips, they sell drinks like soda and sometimes water. And they already bought like an ice cream and they're very good. Check it out. A big stump just fell down to the ground. Right here, you can take some photos with your friends and family. And look, there's a lot of bunch of nice pine trees around here. I believe that's a call. I keep forgetting the names. And here's a small one. I think this one's gonna grow up very soon. And there's rocks inside, big ones. One of my local parks, they used to have giant rocks like this size, all around. Look, that one over there is growing. I'm back at my camping place and right now I'm going to this little shop to buy me some bag of chips and some ice cream. Look at that ice cream guys. Mm -hmm. Look at that ice cream. Mm, maybe I'll take this one. I love Oreos. There are the chips and look right here you can ask them to put some hot cheese with some jalapenos inside and there's the drinks inside right there. I leave me from the little shop and I got my hot Cheetos with some hot cheese inside and also my ice cream. But I'm gonna eat my hot Cheetos first because my ice cream might melt, okay? It's nighttime already. And this how it looks. You can see the mountains and the singing frogs right there. I cannot go to the lake anymore. They don't let nobody to walk there around this hour. See, everything's too dark right now. And also a little bit foggy. But more people are doing that. They're using that. I'm not sure if I want to go there. Alright guys. Today is Monday. The third day and the final day of this camping place right now. I haven't shown you everything yet. But I'm afraid that I'm not going to have time to go with the horses or go on hiking. But I will see how much I'm going to take. It's kind of windy right now. But right now there's less people already. Like the other days, there were a lot. Okay, I'm taking you guys to the final swimming pool. Everybody saying that this one it's for little kids only. I don't see it for little kids. I see it that it's for everybody. But inside there, there's a little pirate boat and some slides down there all around it. Okay, I'm getting inside right here. Check it out. I don't know what is this here, but it's very cool. And there's the logo's name. Let me give you guys a good look. The Cañadas. Almost there, guys. Check it out, guys. They're chickmunks or squirrels. They're so cute. And the other one just left. But the other one's right there, next to the shade. There's a lot of these little guys all around. This is a spot, guys. And look what it has inside. A pirate chickmunk. And there's another one. And here are the rules. It means like no pets and no glass inside here. And because it's a little bit windy, a lot of water is hitting my face. And there are the rules right there again. Let me guys will give you a good look up so you guys can follow the rules. You see? This is amazing. And this is for little kids only, but you can get in too if you want to. See, there's a boat, a slide, and also it's kind of like a half castle, towel. Look at that water. And there's a boat who just got sinked. There's also a slide, you see? You see, there's rocks here. 
but I'm not sure they're real or fake. There's another one right there. Let me give you guys a good close-up. Yeah, you can come in with your kids here. Two years ago, my bro two of my brothers got in with their kids. You see? <laughs> guys here in this campsite there are also seagulls just make sure you don't get too close to these guys looks like there's a flock right there I told you there are animals here too not just only ducks squirrels chickmunks also seagulls and also nocturnal animals there's a nice, beautiful view here. Also around. Yeah, you can go hiking all the way there. Like you see that flag right there? Let me give you guys a good close up. Up there, it's very nice. Like you can see the whole thing all around. And here's a playground, guys. It's very nice. And there's swings. I love the swings. And there's sand around. Monkey bars. It's very good. I love the swing guys. Never too old for swings. I forgot to tell you one thing guys. Don't worry about saving battery because right here there are plugs. Plugs, switches, so you can charge your phone, your camera, whatever device you have, you can plug it right there. Guess what, where I am right now, guys? I'm in the boat. And this time, my phone did it not die. But now I'm gonna show you a lot of great view around here. Inside the lake, more duckies swimming all around and i added more voice recorder around here because they've been playing some rap music with some bad language and right there there are some tents native tents and they look very nice and cool but i did not went through to take some footage so you guys can see they look very cool and i really love those tents that natives made way while back ah okay right now i'm entering under the bridge with my two sisters moving the boat and there they are saying hello yep it was fun being in that lake with a boat and make sure you hold your phone very tight when you're in the boat see this is the under bridge this under I couldn't leave without taking a good view out of this lake here. This is a lake, guys. And this is the reason why they have the sign right there, like no swimming. Because the ducks and the fishes, but I don't know what happened to the fishes. They were goldfish and they were big. I don't know what happened. I told one of the guards saying that, Lord, we don't know what happened to them. All the way in that corner, somebody, some guy, just jumped to the island right there. And look, right here, you can take pictures. Like I said, you can take pictures with your friends or family in this little island. And there's the other bridge right there. Right now, there's not a lot of people because everybody left. Check it out, guys. There's a hole. They said that bunnies live there, but I haven't seen not a single bunny around here. Uh, touching the water, touching the water. Part of you guys are saying, touch the water, touch the water. Well, I did, I just did, okay? 
all the way up there, there's horse riding. But bad news, I'm not gonna have time to go there, guys. So maybe next time. Next time I go there and take footage because where they take you is very nice and the view is very big. Oh, under the bridge, under the bridge. This is another one where the island is. It's like the water's not that deep. Take a good look at the last time, guys. I don't know when I'm gonna be back here, but I told you, they have a lot here. Right now, we are heading back to shore right there, where the other boats, we're in the, right there where the other boats are, in the corner, because we're leaving. But it was fun. And also I'm happy because my phone did not die. All right, guys, I just got out with my sisters and took a good look at this wonderful lake. All this is very nice and I love it. But it's kind of sad because I'm leaving right now. So if you guys want to find a place to relax, this is the spot. Las Cañadas in Santa Anita in Paca, California. But don't worry because some of the workers around this place, like I mentioned, they do speak English and they can help you out, all right? What you're seeing right over there, they're the tents, the ones that Nate made, and they look very good. And I like it. That's all for today, guys. So thank you for watching my camping trip video. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, that camping place is amazing. There's a lot of things you can do around there. If you guys want to find a place to hang out and relax, that camping place is the right spot for you. But don't worry. Like I said, some of the workers in that camping place, they do speak English. If you guys have dollars, they will accept it. And I really love those little shops because they sell chips with some hot cheese around. And I really love those ice creams they have inside the coolers. They sold good. Ah, yep, I really love it. I love that place so much. So next time, I, if I go, I'm going to take some footage of the horses because I did have enough time to go there. So please, guys, visit Las Cañadas in Baja, California. All right? Okay guys, so that's all for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to share it, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And please follow my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. And i catch you guys on the next one. Once again... Happy 4th of July, everybody. Take care and be safe and have a wonderful night and a wonderful time. This is Yen Sukaima and he's out in line.